about an hour away from our house. We got the Onyx pointing us in the right direction. So hopefully we can fill a meal do tag and uh, get it done like Ricky did last year. <laughs> So we just went through Denver and we're getting some rain, which is hopefully good to help them with the fires and stuff out here. And we got about an hour before we reach my cousin Aaron's. Um, we're just about to hit the Eisenhower Tunnel and we got a few days before season and we'll glass and hopefully find a few mule deer to chase and get after it Wednesday morning. morning here in Colorado, first cup of coffee. I'm going to bust out my bow and just enjoy God's country here. And I'm going to shoot a few arrows down range, make sure the bow is just still on, just because of the long drive. And then we're going to go out and try to find some mule deer and chase here Wednesday. Well, season starts tomorrow, and this is where it all begins right here. Eyes on the glass. We spotted up a few bucks here the other evening. So we're up here tonight. Hopefully we can see what they're doing and get on them tomorrow morning on opening day. Right, we spotted a buck over here in the bottom of this draw, so we're, uh, we drove back over here. We're going to hightail it down to this two track and then cut across and hopefully get up on him.
we spotted some uh, really nice bucks just around this uh, mountain side when we were driving up. So we drove up past them as far, well we probably could have went a little farther, but stopped here. We're going to go up and try to get above them. We're gearing up to get after them. After the wind changed on us on them big ones and they busted us and we had that two other ones on our left come out right at 25 yards and they just would not stop for me to get a shot um, so we waited till they kind of cleared out came back to the truck ate some lunch glass and we spotted another nice buck over here on this side hill so we're gonna we're gonna head after him and hopefully make it happen this time and the wind won't swirl on us This segment has been brought to you by Lone Wolf Tree Stands, your silent partner. Keep going. I can't believe he stood there that long for me to get anchored on him. That's crazy, man. We literally. He was right up against that pine tree you're walking straight at. Yeah. He was on the other side of that bush. Unbelievable. You giant. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Holy shit. Oh god, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I was looking down and then oh, I like buddy. looked up. He's looking the hell I was like, holy shit, he's right there. I still want to get you guys' good, numbers, man. Good job, dude. Good oh dude, that's a really good oh. shot, I think. Holy shit, dude. 
chased him all day. He is an awesome looking deer, dude. Oh. I don't even know what to say. He's a freaking beast. He is a beast. Oh yeah, you hit him way high. Yeah, I did. He spined him. Spined him. He ain't down for the count. Just no blood. Yeah, barely spooky. any blood. Very spooky. <laughs> but I'm glad we found him. Oh man. Oh man. I am so grateful for you guys. Great buck, dude. Thank great you, bro. Great hunt. You guys Thank you, bro. kicked the ass I'm out of I'm sorry in the beginning. No, that man. I, I that was awesome. You guys oh, you're kept... good, man. We were grinding all day, bro. I feel so stupid. I was like, they're probably, I know you guys were like, why is that ding dong after that four point? And I wasn't. I thought you guys were. I was like, oh okay. my God, dude. That's I cannot crazy, believe this, Mike. Rick. That's an awesome buck. You guys, thanks again, man. I... You're welcome, dude. I'm glad, you, I'm glad it worked out and then you have a, you have a night that you can sleep instead of yeah, being dude, awake all night. Not and... finding your arrow and not. Holy shit. It's like tears in my eyes, man. Yeah. You just some pictures? All right, well, we stuck with it uh, today. I don't even remember what day it is. <laughs> September 5th. It's like fourth day hunting. Um, stuck with it today. We chased this guy around the mountain all day. Um, finally made it happen. Ran into a couple guys, um, Trevor and Zach, who helped us find him. I couldn't have been grateful. Um, but yeah, we, I just, just stoked, man. This thing is huge. And we literally chased him all over all this day. mountain. All day. Yes. <laughs> Miles. So I dropped my cousin a pin on Onyx Maps, and he's headed here right now to help us get this deer out of here. And we got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Let's get it. Congrats, Mike. Thanks, man. You think it's capable of me, all right? Or should I roll him back over? I'd be yeah, roll him over. No. Oh. I'll hold him. All right, I got him. Now we get dirt in him, though. Let's bang a ladder and rinse him. Oh, man, are you born? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Letting you do the work. Oh, I'm gonna stop right here. All right, break. <laughs> we got the deer all back to my cousin Aaron's, and um, I'm gonna treat this velvet on this buck's antlers with velvet lock. It's super simple. Spray it on, let it dry, and you're set to go. Um, one of these bottles will do up to 180 inch whitetail. Um, you just let it dry. And that's all there is to it. It's supposed to keep this velvet looking nice and pretty and fuzzy for years to come. Uh, before I get to that, though, I want to get a big shout out to a couple local guys, um, Zach Miller and Trevor Rafferty. Um, without them two guys, it probably would have been a lot more difficult to find this buck last night. Um, Trevor found blood, and then Zach walked up and, and found the buck because there wasn't a whole lot of blood, being that I hit him a little high, but. Without them guys, we would have been up there probably this morning still looking for this guy. So, thanks again, fellas, and hopefully you see you next year, man. When it comes to food plots, we're really looking for three different things. Attractiveness, longevity, and herd health. The Real World Gen 2 soybeans have four different varieties in this bag. They are the most shatter-resistant soybeans on the market, which means these soybeans are going to last you all the way through season and a lot of times well after. They also have a higher oil content, which is gonna make them a lot more attractive than most of your other soybeans out there. Having four different varieties of soybeans in this bag, we're gonna have four different maturity rates. The soybeans are packed full of protein, which is gonna help our herd health, and they're gonna last all the way through season, all the way after season, especially in those harsher conditions, and definitely provide not only for the deer, but all wildlife. They also offer a northern blend of soybeans for you guys that are in the northern states. There's three different varieties of soybeans and those also the most shatter resistant soybeans on the market. If you want to learn more on the real world Gen 2 soybeans or the Northern Blend soybeans, 
Check out their website at realworldwildlifeproducts.com or find the dealer nearest you.